Okay, picture this. You're about to land on the moon. Pretty epic, right? But here's the thing. The moon isn't exactly a smooth parking lot. It's all bumpy, cratered, and totally uneven. So how did they make sure the lunar module didn't just tip over? It's a fascinating story of problem solving. Well, first they had to figure out what not to do. Early ideas for the legs? Imagine something kind of short and stubby. Think of a wobbly stool. Not going to work so well on a lumpy moon. Then they tried longer, skinnier legs. Better, but still a bit precarious. The real magic happened when the engineers went super wide. They designed these amazing legs that splayed out, almost like they were doing the splits. And here's a cool fact. Instead of being springy in the traditional sense, these legs used a clever system of crushable aluminum honeycomb inside the struts. Think of it like a super strong, lightweight material that could compress and absorb the force of landing, keeping everything stable. Plus, those gold-colored blankets you often see on the legs? That wasn't just for looks. It was actually a high-tech insulation, made of layers like aluminized mylar and captain, protecting the legs from the crazy hot and cold temperatures of space and the rocket exhaust. And get this, the company that built these incredibly important landing legs was actually Canadian, a firm called Hero Machine Parts. So, when that lunar module touched down, those ingenious legs unfolded, and their crushable honeycomb worked perfectly, keeping everything nice and steady. It's kinda amazing, right? This whole thing was about finding the perfect balance, so the astronauts could safely explore. It's a reminder that even seemingly simple parts can be seriously impressive when you're dealing with space travel. Mind blown by Moon Tech? There's tons more cool Apollo stories where that came from. Subscribe to Apollo 11 Space for more awesome space shorts. Hit that button and stay curious. Thanks for watching.